I vowed to you guys a long time ago that I would try to draft all Chiefs on one team. Mahomes, Clyde Edwards, Hilaire, all the other backup running backs, Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, all the wide receivers, literally all Chiefs, every single one of the offensive guys, and I've done it. I'm like, you're watching the Fantasy Football Show. It's me. Let me walk you through the story. So I figured the easiest way to pull this off is to, to start off with an auction. So the draft that I tried to deploy this uh, strategy in, I ended up botching it at the end because I'd go live on a timed live right when the draft was ending. And I ended up winning Galladay when I was trying to bid him up on somebody and it destroyed the whole plan of attack to try and get Tyree killed. So with my best opportunity to pull this off, I ended up walking out with Mahomes, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, Travis Kelsey in an auction, Galladay, Juju Parker, and no running back two, and even auto-picked on a couple of the picks. So it was not a great draft by any means. It had a mix of followers and, and experts in it. And I abandoned the draft essentially at the end. I really want to do it because I think it can truly win. I don't just want to do it for fun or for giggles. I, it's going to be entertaining, but I want to do this because I really truly think it's going to win. And damn it, I froze my cokes again. Son of Put them in there to chill them, and they froze. Time to go for a run anyway. But I just wanted to to make this video to explain the journey of making this team. I didn't I didn't auction this team out in the beginning like I had planned. I think it could have been possible before Clyde Edwards Lair took that huge bump in value. Um, you might have been able to pull this off. I don't think for sure, but you might have been able to in an auction, not in a regular draft. Now both are kind of out. Um, you have to have already had Clyde on your team. So when I knew I hadn't done this yet and I committed to you guys that I would be doing this type of experiment, I had to go to all my other teams and be like, damn it, I'm not gonna be able to do this anymore with the, the hike in value for Clyde. So I went back to old trusty, the, the, the league I botched it in, and I said, I'm closest to this right now with this team because I already have Clyde, I already have Mahomes, I already have uh, Kelsey, but getting Miko Hardman, Sammy Watkins, um, all the backups, and uh, Tyreek Hill was a tall order, but thank God I had Galladay, Juju, and Parker. And I'm sitting there going, Galladay, Juju, Parker. I can get Hill, but I'm gonna have to overpay to get Hill, but I don't care because I'm doing it. At this point, I don't care. I'm giving away every single piece of depth I have. In fact, I'm gonna start all my KC players all year. I will never in this league start a player that is not on the Kansas City Chiefs. You heard me right. That means during week 10 on the Chiefs bye week, I'll be starting all of my Chief players. But I'm going to walk you through the trades that got me from this team into owning every single offensive weapon for the Kansas City Chiefs in 2020. Okay, so I've almost acquired all of the Kansas City Chief players. I botched this draft. I don't know if I have enough pieces to even do this. Um, I need to get Miko Hardman on my team. So I'm giving Williams from the Dolphins. I'm gonna give up $75 of my free agent money because <laughs> I gotta make this enticing to JP. There it is. Trade completed. It's done. Miko Hardman is now on my squad. I gotta overpay for every single piece because people know what I'm doing. They're all holding my feet to the fire. They know what I'm planning. So now I have to go get Tyreek Hill and Sammy Watkins, even though I don't want Sammy Watkins. I need Sammy Watkins because I need to make this completely official. I can't leave anybody out. And I have a feeling that I've already talked to the owner, a buddy of mine, state of mine, who has Hill. He doesn't want to give up Hill. So I've got to overpay, which I'm fine with. I don't want to make it unfair for other people to give people a, like a hell of a deal, but I don't want both of them. I don't want either of them because I'm only starting Kansas City Chief players for the whole year. But I got to be careful not to give away all my pieces because I still need to go get Sammy Watkins. Okay, so here's the offer. <sighs> he, I told him in advance what I was willing to do. He told me he's holding my feet to the fire too. Don't ever try this with everybody knowing what you're doing, but I've got a sacrifice here. I'm doing this. I'm going to own an all Kansas City Chief team, and we're not going to leave any man out. Watkins is going to be on it. Pringle is going to be on it. Even D-Rob will be on it. Washington, 
uh, uh, all four of the running backs, Washington, Darwin, Daryl, and Clyde. I want everybody. Here it is. This is what he sent me. It's what we talked about. I wanted more. I told him, give me someone decent back, and he sends me nobody. He gives me Tyreek Hill. He won't even include his drop. <laughs> Principal for Juju and Galladay. Horrible deal. Don't do this deal. Do not go make this trade. But we're doing it, and we're doing it live. We're doing it live. Yes. <laughs> Woo! We're almost there. Tyreek, <laughs> look at that trade. Look at that trade. Oh man, the league's, the league's probably going crazy. Sorry if anyone is wondering. I'm taking it in the rear a little by design. <laughs> taking it in the rear by design. Okay, hopefully my league mates aren't mad at me. Going, gonna start everyone chief in this league. Why am I writing so fragment like? I don't know. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. LOL. Gotta throw the LOL in. Gotta soften the blow for the league that just saw me trade away Juju and Galladay from Tyreek Hill. <laughs> okay, next up. <laughs> okay, so here's, here's my lineup so far. I got Mahomes, I've got Clyde, I got, you know, Daryl in my running back too. Yes, by design. Tyreek Hill, Michael Hardman, Kelsey. Which one of these guys doesn't belong? Which one of these players does not belong? Now, this is going to be the biggest stickler of them all. Um, I've already reached out to this guy. Okay, here's the offer. Devontae Parker <laughs> for Christian Kirk and Sammy Watkins. I got to do it. I don't care. I got to do it. I, I've tried to go back and forth with him on this one. And he's saying that he doesn't, because it's a money league, and it is, <laughs> he doesn't want to, uh, I'm doing it. I mean, I have to do it. If he pulls this offer and I got to give more or I don't have enough or he wants to play hardball, um, with Tyree kills I just can't I can't afford to not have the whole team it's gonna like I won't sleep at night if I get this entire thing completed this is the last piece of it and I don't have Watkins I need everybody I, I might not even start Watkins I probably will until he gets unseated I'll probably start all three of the wide receivers Watkins Meekle and Hill and then start Daryl and Clyde I'm doing it I'm doing it we're doing it live. Okay, so there's no kicker or a D. I literally, my starting lineup is Mahomes, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, for now Daryl Williams. I've got Washington, I've got Darwin, Tyreek Hill, Meikle Hardman, Watkins, and Travis Kelsey. And my week one projection is 102. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's got a couple teams at 109, 103, 106. Okay, so we pulled it off. I own every single Kansas City Chiefs offensive player that's noteworthy. Okay, so let's try and figure out what this team's gonna score on a weekly basis and see if I even have something here. Cause I actually haven't calculated this out yet. I'm gonna do it live with you guys. So hopefully I'm happy. Um, <laughs> if you go off 2018 stats, I know everyone's gonna get upset over this, but in this format, Mahomes had 529. Now, I'm not going to just grab that number, but I think Mahomes could easily, on a healthy season, do what Lamar did at, five, at 493, um, even if he doesn't have exactly the same season he had in 2018. I think he will. I think he can. And if you want to argue he can't, and oh my God, historical data shows that I don't care about any of that. Nobody predicted him to have 5,000 yards and 50 TDs. I don't want to hear what historical data is painting as far as a picture goes. I feel, I feel... Mahomes can score 50 TDs again. I feel he's locked into 45. I feel 5,000 is not out of the question. 
And that's why I'm doing this experiment, because I feel so strongly about Kansas City and this offense in 2020. Let's give Mahomes 493. I don't think that's that crazy. Okay, so 493, we'll put that up right next to Mahomey. Right here, let's go to Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, 2018, 328. And that's along the lines of uh, Mahomes doing what I think Mahomes can do. Let's go with this 2018 total. Tyreek Hill, three, we'll just go 320 instead of 328. And I think he's capable of it. I think he's capable of having 1,400 yards, 12 touchdowns, 87 receptions. That's not that crazy of a year. In fact, why am I giving him? 20 when he had 328. I'm going to give him the full amount and drop that right here. Next up, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. How do we calculate this? Uh, uh, let's go with like, uh, honestly, I think you guys are going to call me crazy here, but I'm going, to, I'm going to grab the third highest scoring running back average between the two years. 372 in 2018. So 311 plus 372. Divide that sucker by two and that is 340. I, uh, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm putting it. I know you're going to say, well, Smitty, you high guessed everybody. You know what? It's my show. And I don't think that's crazy. 340 points for Clyde. Some people are talking now so late in the game. I've been conducting this train from the beginning. So many people right now late in the game are projecting him to be a top three running back. That's 340 in this format. 340. Kelsey, 254 in 2019. And he had 290. Let's give him 280. 280 for the Kels Meister. 280 for Kelsey's pretty fair in my opinion. Daryl, the second running back in this offense, is easily going to produce that Mike Davis type number. So 130. Let's give him 130. The nice part about this is I'm probably not going to miss on who to start. Yeah, I could I could have like a receiver like Pringle on my bench and him go nuts or something like that. And I think that's, this is gonna be the one that might actually be a lot higher than I'm putting on screen here. Okay, Hardman's the last one. This one's kind of hard to calculate. I think he's gonna have a thousand yards. So give him 100 points right there. I think he's in for a, an eight to 10 TD season. Let's give him nine, nine times six. Fifty-four. I think he could score nine, eight TDs, nine TDs. I think he could get ten or eleven, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go nine. And I don't know. Give him. I mean, he's gonna easily have way more receptions than Sammy Watkins. I mean, give him sixty-five receptions. Michael Hardman is a big-time sleeper of mine in twenty twenty. Okay, so drop that on there. Let's add the scores up I'm nervous because if it says something like 99 points a game I'm gonna feel defeated already but I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty decent 493 plus 328 plus 280 plus 340 plus 130 plus 229 plus 145 Woo 1945 uh, let's double check that math 1945 uh, divide that here's the moment of truth divide that by 16 because that's 16 games worth 121 points per game. That's a big season. That's a big season. And if we go to the league homepage and we look at it, is anybody projected to average even well over 110? 106, 109, 103, 101, 99, 105, 111. That's the highest one so far. 100, 109. No, it's not. Uh, I feel like this is going to be one of those things where we we look back on this. We're going to say to ourselves, this was easier to predict in hindsight than, than we all thought. I think this team right here not only do well in total point leagues, but I think I think I will destroy teams when the Chiefs are on fire. And I don't anticipate that many games where the, the offense struggles as a whole. Even if they lose a game, Mahomes is probably going to ball out. Even if Mahomes is a tad bit off one game, that means Clyde Edwards Hilaire is going to tear it up. If Pat Mahomes runs in a touchdown instead of uh, you know throwing it, that's okay. If he hands the ball off on the one yard line instead of passes, that's okay. I'll obviously root for passing touchdowns because I get the double points, but I mean, I literally won't feel bad about any score. There's not a whole lot of vulture opportunities that'll await me on Sundays. 
I honestly, I know this is kind of like a joke. It's kind of uh, something I wanted to try for fun, an experiment of sorts. I have to tell you, out of the 475,000 leagues I'm doing in 2020, it's gonna be the most fun league that I'm involved in. 1945 is the target number. We will revisit this at the end of the year. I'm pretty damn excited that I actually accomplished my, my goal. I vowed to you guys I was gonna do it. The all Kansas City Chief fantasy football team. And that means in week 10, we're gonna take an L. And I don't care. Subscribe, follow, tell me what you think below. Will this team win? Does it have a shot? Are you gonna try it? Have you tried it before? Have you wanted to try it? I wanna hear your comments below and share with a friend and let them know about the show. Going all over. Here's the studio built, being built right here in this wall. Over is the studio. Oh my God. You're watching the Fantasy Football Show. It's me.